Spanish tennis great Rafael Nadal has won 16 Grand Slam titles, a record 10 French Open singles titles and is one of only two men to win all four majors and Olympic gold. Who is Rafael Nadal? Born in Spain in 1986, Rafael Nadal began playing tennis at age 3 and turned pro at 15. Known as the King of Clay for his skill playing on clay courts as well as his top spin heavy shots and tenacity, Nadal has won a record 10 French Open singles titles and 16 Grand Slam titles. Early years, Rafael Nadal was born in Mallorca, Spain, on June 3, 1986, when he was three years old. His uncle, Tony Nadal, a former professional tennis player, started working with him, seeing an aptitude for the sport in young Rafael. At the age of 8, Nadal won an under-12 regional tennis championship, giving Uncle Tony the incentive to step up his training. Tony noticed at the time that Rafael played his forehand shots with two hands, so he encouraged him to play left-handed, thinking it could give Rafael an edge on the court. When Nadal was just 12 years old, he won the Spanish and European tennis titles in his age group. He turned professional at age 15, King of Clay. At the age of 16, Nadal made it to the semi-finals of the boys' singles tournament at Wimbledon. At 17, he became the youngest male to reach the third round at Wimbledon since Boris Becker. At the age of 19, in 2005, Nadal won the French Open the first time he competed in the tournament, and his world ranking shot to no. 3. Nadal won 11 singles titles that year, eight of which were on clay, and he was soon dubbed the king of clay tennis career. Despite enduring shoulder and foot injuries, Nadal won his second straight French Open and added four more titles in 2006. The following year, he won again at Roland Garros and took home five other titles. Nadal poured it on in 2008, winning the French Open again. In addition to winning Wimbledon, where he beat rival Roger Federer in the longest final in Wimbledon history, as well as gold at the Beijing Olympics. After Wimbledon, Nadal's winning streak stood at a career-best 32 matches with his powerful top spin heavy shots, speed and mental toughness. Nadal reigned as one of the big four of men's tennis, along with Federer, Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray, for the next several years. He took over as the world's no one in 2008, and won his first Australian Open in 2009. In 2010, he was triumphant at the French Open in Wimbledon, and his subsequent twin at the U.S. Open made him just the second men's player to achieve the career Golden Slam victories at all four majors, as well as Olympic gold. The following year, Nadal led the Spanish Davis Cup team to victory for the fourth time, but he surrendered his no. 1 ranking after losing to Djokovic in the Wimbledon final. He gained some revenge by defeating the Serbian star at Roland Garros the following spring to claim a record seventh French Open singles crown. However, Nadal followed with a surprising second round loss to Czech player Lucas Rosal at Wimbledon a match some commentators labeled as one of the biggest upsets in tennis history. Afterward, Nadal announced he was withdrawing from the 2012 Summer Olympics due to knee tendinitis, an injury that knocked him out of action for several months. In June 2013, Nadal won his eighth French Open title by defeating fellow Spaniard David Ferrer in straight sets. I never like to compare years. But it's true that this year means something very special for me," Nadal said after the match. In an interview with the SPN, five months ago nobody of my team dreamed about one comeback like this because we thought that was going to be impossible. But here we are today, and that's really fantastic and incredible. Later that month at Wimbledon, Nadal lost in straight sets in the first round to Belgium's Steve Darcis. It was a shock to tennis fans who expected a strong performance from the Spanish player, leading to speculation about the state of his health and overall game, but Nadal was back on the upswing by the U.S. Open, where he defeated Djokovic to win his second championship at the tournament. 
The win helped propel Nidal back to the top spot in the world that October. In June 2014, Nidal won his ninth French Open championship by topping Djokovic in four sets. It was his 14th Grand Slam title, tying him with Pete Sampras for second all-time behind the 17 won by Federer. However, he withdrew from the 2014 U.S. Open in August, citing a wrist injury, and played a limited schedule for the remainder of the year. Nidal advanced through the field at the 2015 Australian Open, but his physical capabilities appeared compromised when he felt a hard-hitting Thomas Burdich in the quarter-finals. He then suffered a stunning quarter-final loss to Djokovic at the French Open, his first defeat at the tournament since 2009 and just the second overall of his career. After winning the 2015 Mercedes Cup in Germany, Nadal stumbled in a second-round loss to Dustin Brown at Wimbledon. He then fell to Fabio Fonini in the third round of the US. Open, snapping his streak of 10 consecutive years with at least one Grand Slam title. The 2016 season brought more mixed results for the hard-hitting Spaniard. After suffering a first-round loss at the Australian Open in January, he rebounded to win titles in Monte Carlo and Barcelona. However, Nittles attempts to play through a nagging wrist injury took its toll and he was forced to pull out of his favorite tournament, the French Open. After two rounds at the 2016 Olympics in Rio, Nadal took home gold in with Marc Lopez in men's doubles. In 2017, Nadal faced off against Roger Federer in the finals at the Australian Open, but was ultimately defeated in five sets. After his win, Federer, who came back from series of injuries, paid tribute to Nadal. I'd like to congratulate Rafa on an amazing comeback, too," Federer said. I don't think either one of us thought we would be in the final at the Australian Open this year. I am happy for you. I would have been happy to lose to you tonight, too, really. Nidal rebounded to win the 2017 French Open for a record-setting 10th time, La Decima in Spanish, after defeating Stan Warinka of Switzerland at Roland Gros. He continued his winning streak at the 2017 U.S. Open. Nidal's victory over Kevin Anderson of South Africa was his 16th Grand Slam title, returning him to number one ranking. After his U.S. Open win, Nidal spoke of the ups and downs of his comeback. For me personally, it's just unbelievable what happened to me this year after a couple of years with some troubles, injuries, moments playing not good, he said. From the beginning of the season, it has been very emotional, 